me. Why are you laughing, Hugh Grant? That was so sudden. <laughs> <laughs> I was too busy talking to Chris about his dad. Uh, Hugh Grant, Chris Pine, Rekha Jean Pei, London, it's raining. How does this feel, Hugh? Oh, quite completely normal. <laughs> and um, yes, but lovely. Good. Exciting. I love a red carpet. <laughs> well, you've been everywhere with this film. Um, literally, and look at his smile. Um, Chris, today you're in London. You were in Paris earlier this yeah. week. What's it been like on this trip with these two amazing men? I'm just having the time <laughs> of my life. Uh, no, we have a great cast, and uh, we have a film that we really love, and, and people seem to be really responding to it. And, uh, you know, it's a film really ultimately about joy and having fun and, and uh, not taking yourself so seriously. And to see the look on people's faces when they leave the theater and to see how bright and joyful they are is a real, it's a really great thing. And it's also about a, a bunch of unlikely heroes, mm -hmm, which I love. So. And this idea about being your hero within. Reggae, have you ever felt like an imposter and had to find a way of thinking, no, I can do this, I can do this? I mean, I did right up until I got a literal suit of shining armour and a cape in this movie. <laughs> I think I got to live out every single ten-year-old <laughs> dream that I've had. So I, a knight in shining armour with a sword and a cape, I slay dragons. I'm kind of living my best life here. I'm having a good time. Yeah, it's, it's great. And the costumes, I mean, they are awesome. If I were to venture into your wardrobe at home, I'm going to you with this one, Hugh. Um, would I find any fancy dress? Because I'm hearing the sound of music and you have a certain costume in your cupboard, is that true? I have several Sound of Music costumes. <laughs> I have the original one that I wore as Brigitte von Trapp, who is I think the third eldest daughter in a school production, a white dress with a blue satin sash. Uh, I put that on sometimes, but it's a bit tight now. <laughs> but my favourite one is the Baroness, you know, and uh, that's an extraordinary red number. That, and uh, did you wear that Elton John 60th? I wore it at some uh, party. I can't remember whose it was, but I looked lovely. I should have worn it tonight. <laughs> you should definitely. There's some fun sparkle in your eyes as you yeah, speak yeah. about it. Hey, listen, the film is so much fun, and you've honoured the fans, the D&D fans. It's over 40 years old, but it's also, for people that haven't played the game, you can watch it and not feel left out, right? Okay? Oh, absolutely. You need nothing before you walk into this movie. I think the most valuable thing that our directors did, one of the cleverest things they did, is that it's a movie that has so much heart. It's just about the humans going through this world. Dungeons and Dragons isn't about dragons or magic or sorcery. That's all there. It's about the people going through that and the feeling that you have hanging out as a group doing insane things yeah. and creating memories in that world. And that's what we made the movie about. Be warned. There is evil here. I'm glad he's on our side. <laughs>